Hello, this is the front man, and today we've got something a little different for all you lovely racers. Welcome to the Squarble Games. Squ Squarble? Squibble? Squirtle? Welcome to Squid Games Except Marbles. Nailed it. Today's race won't just be about who makes it to the finish line first, it will be about who makes it to the finish line at all. A hundred eight marbles are getting ready at the starting gate, but only one will go home with the money. But these sadistic sets of spoiler sensitive setups make their own rules for this game of marbles, ensuring along the way many marbles who fail these challenges will be eliminated. Our participants are all waiting at the top of the scramble tower, which will make sure every marble has an equal chance at winning. The contestants have already divided into teams, but make no mistake about it, it's every marble for their own here. Team Red consists of real-world friends, online friends, content creators, chocolate, and you. Yes, you. It's grown quite a lot after splitting off some members from Green Team, a move I'm sure Green Team is none too happy about. Team Orange is our lovely financial backers, patrons past and present who make all this possible. You know where to find the link if you want to join the strongest team around. The blue is all you lovely YouTube commenters, supporting my videos by letting me know how you enjoyed them and morally supporting this sort of debauchery. Finally, Team Green is a bunch of random phrases, lovely podcasts, and a little bit of chaos. But who's desperate enough to do whatever it takes? Who's a boiled egg? And who's ready to rumble? The game starts in 5, 4, four 3, two, 2, 1. And they're off, scrambling down the tower to see who gets to reach the lift first and get the pole position at the start of the track. A croissant and, uh, seems to have reached the lift first, but is anyone going to share the lift with them? No, they closed the lift door right behind them. Screw you, lady, that's what stairs are for indeed. As they head up the office tower, the next part will be sure to scramble them around some. The teetering tower of beds, followed by the glass spirals who will lead our contestants to the glass walk where contestants will have to watch your steps very, very carefully, or end up eliminated. A croissant makes it first off the lift, followed by a whole line of people trying to nab that first position. They head first into the spiral staircase, but wow, a lot of people are hot on their trail. Nemo, Mac, Cheesy, some Tribbles, and Dakakashi are all vying for that lead position. Nemo is first out the spiral, but you overtake. Will you manage to keep that balance? TP is first to fall down, followed by Zero Gray, Shady Plays, and so many others. A butt has taken the lead, and I don't mean you, you are also in the lead, but right next to a butt. Oh no, it seems Santa has fallen to his demise! Oh, at this time of year no less. Oh, that's gonna disappoint so many children. He never should have gotten into gambling. And much like Santa, I'm sorry, but if your name is on the screen right now, you have not made it to this next part, but feel free to pick another marble to root for. If your name is on the screen now, however, then congratulations, you are currently climbing the lift and making your way to the next part of the track, where more sinister challenges will be awaiting you. Who will be able to survive? Red light, green light. In red light, green light, our contestants will have to run to the end of the track while stopping at the red lights. If they rush it, or if they move where they shouldn't, well, then they get to take a trip down the slide. A butt it starts carefully going down the track, but you and Idoaz both rush on ahead. You stop just in time as Idoaz takes a tumble. You are currently in the lead as so many people who didn't get uh, uh, stopped in time just getting eliminated left and right. Oh, it's absolute carnage. No, there I go. Oh my god, Ido's, uh, Ido A is just too terrified stopping right in his tracks. If your name is here, then I'm sorry. You have not made it to the next part of the track and will be eliminated. Those who are still in the running will now have to pair up in two teams of two for this next part. They're, it's, they're gonna rely a lot on teamwork. And an S and U seem to be going one way as a butt goes the other. Followed by a can of whoop ass, Shira, a Cornado, Tal M, Deli Proto, and everyone else. The squid track will be taking them beneath this lovely fake canopy of rainforest and into the stairwell. 
Our contestants make their way up the stairwell and towards the next challenge. They will have to sync up with their teammate and in perfect unison head towards the crane game. In the crane game, our contestants will be running at each other at terrifying heights, trying to grab each other and save each other from falling to their demise. If they succeed, they continue down the track and loop back around. If they don't, no point in sugarcoating it. If you don't play well with others, you don't play at all. And an S is first off the stairwell heading towards the cranes, but it seems her teamwork is a little off. You are rushing in too, but it seems you didn't want to team up with anyone deciding to tackle the challenge yourself. Your odds of surviving the crane game are not that great. Uh, I would be making sure your will is up to date at this point. A can of whoop ass and a butt! My god! A team up for the ages! I, 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 Jesus! I swear I did not set that up on purpose! <laughs> as well as Shira and Deli Proto at an S taking a tumble! You reach the top of the crane, run in full speed, and head to your demise! Oh my god, will a can of whoop ass and a butt be a perfect match? It seems so! A can of whoop ass kicked a butt right into place! That is amazing! Shira takes a dive as well as Deli Proto, Jess S, and Tal M right on their heels. Oh my god, it's absolute carnage, but Dorfox featuring Pitbull, as well as another f f***ing streaming service and some other marble, have managed to stay on track and reach the next part. It seems more marbles have chosen to go down one side than the other, which is going to play in favor of one side only. Everyone that is currently on the right side is not likely to be made. A can of whoop ass and a butt can already be seen having looped around and heading towards the next part of the track. Here the track is going to dive under the current track and head into the tunnel. A can of whoop ass and a butt both entering the tunnel. A butt! Oh my god, nearly falling off the track, saving itself at the very last second. As a can of whoop ass heads up the ladder out of the tunnel and into the final piece of the track, which is, of course, the Squid Game. In the Squid Game, our marbles are going to have to rush through this set of shapes and then declare Inspector Royale as they head towards the finish line and grab victory. However, if they manage to fall off this track, well then, they take a little trip down here and on to the Incinerators. Can of Whoop Ass is, has quite a lead as well as pretty much all of Green Team, but, no pun intended, will they be the first to actually finish the track? Can of Whoop Ass goes round and round and round and round, but a butt is quick to join it. Oh my gosh, uh, a can of Whoop Ass takes a bit of an angle, but corrects itself, heading into the bowl, spinning round and round and round it goes, followed by a butt and some other marble. Oh, a butt takes a wrong turn, falls right off the track, oh my god! And a can of whoop ass declares Inspector Royale, grabs the win- Oh! They missed their throne entirely! The win is still up for grabs, I repeat, the win is still up for grabs! Will it be some other marbles? Some other marbles declares Inspector Royale, and attempts to grab the lead! We have a winner, it's some other marble, followed by King Bardo the third. Oh, I cannot believe this. We have a f***ing traffic jam. What? Rodrigo featuring Pitbull has taken a wrong turn, as well as Fear itself. Fear P and Elden H, they are all heading towards the incinerators. Will anyone come and set these marbles free? Yes, it seems so. Another f***ing streaming service takes a, a yet takes the next win. I don't know why the tab table of contents is not showing it. Another s streaming service makes it past the finish line second, and with no one else on their heels, it seems that King Bardo III and Adam F are our runner-ups, somehow managing to stay alive, despite technically not really finishing the track. This has been one wild race, people. Thank you all for participating. 
Of 108 marbles, only 5 have actually finished the track, all of them from either blue team or green team. Such a shameful defeat for red team and orange, oh my god. I guess green team managed to get their revenge on red after all. This red has been brought to you by my great aunt. <laughs> Not feeling quite through. Still craving some marble flavored suffering. Try my new exhibit, Kinetica, the marble platformer. Hit the key at the right time to send the marble further down the track and your sanity down the tube. Don't believe me? Why not ask a satisfied customer? Oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> please! No! Please! Please, let me just. No! To view the rest of Dapper's video, click the link. Or if you'd rather try it yourself, get it on the workshop. Kinetica, the marble frustration platformer. With a nose full of eggs! If you enjoy the content you've seen today, please consider leaving a comment. Not only do I love hearing what you guys think of my tracks and videos, but it will also snag you a spot on my next race with your very own blue marble. Before we go, I'd just like to very quickly pay homage to the winners of the previous Marble Squid games, aka the folks who won the million other times I recorded this race before I realized I had to correct a part of the track where marbles kept getting stuck or something. So let's take a look back in appreciation. Who will take the lead? It will it be Mac Cheesy or Fairy Farts? They both enter the final bowl. Fairy Farts takes the lead. Inspector reels it all the way to the end, and our winner is Fairy Farts. <gasps> no, they. Ooh, they relinquish the lead as well as Mac Cheesy and leave it up to G707. Jess S, Tal A, and Ehud are all hot on their heels, but another. And streaming service makes it first and into the final bowl. They have a good chance of winning here, but Tal A takes a shortcut, claiming Inspector Royale and heading right for the victory. Oh my god! Taking the victory right under uh, another streaming service's uh, grasp. Ehud manages to stay on track. Ehud declares Inspector Royale, finishes first, and doesn't hit the mark oh my god ehud fails right at the end giving up his win for solo alke what a twist in the titular squid game our contestants are gonna have to make it through the entire shape without falling off and then declare inspector royale as they hadn't what the f fuck jo johnny already won and i missed it i missed it when did you win? I guess I was focused on the crane game too long. Shit. That's it for the flashback. If you liked what you've seen today, consider supporting Marble World on Steam. I've been Tomix, and I will see you in the next video.